We're in Paris. <laughs> Long time and I missed creating content so much. Life got in the way and I had to stop for a while and I feel like this is the perfect um, opportunity for me to start afresh and show you something nice. So right now I am in Paris and I'm loving every second of it. I'm just here for a couple of days so nothing crazy and I am incredibly sick. So I'm really sorry if my voice keeps going on and off but um, that's why I have my little mic here. <laughs> I thought it was a great opportunity just to take you around with me and I'll be on my own today because I'm here with my partner but he's actually here for work. Um, so I'll just... Have a wander around until it finishes work and I have a couple of things, actually a couple of very exciting things planned because I wanted to go to some very, very, very exciting bookshops and classic Parisian stores which are uh, a gem. <laughs> of course we're going to go to some of the most famous landmarks but um, I've already went to the Tour Eiffel last night which was absolutely unbelievable because at night with the light on it's just insane uh but also I won't be going to loads of museums just because it's around Christmas time and we booked this little trip literally a couple of days ago and of course everything is sold out which you know I'm a bit gutted but I think we're going uh, I'll manage to go to the Louvre tomorrow which is still something it's something but I'll take you around with me anyway and today the plan is going close to Notre Dame have a little walk around the uh, the area um, and the little quarters around there and then we're gonna stop in Shakespeare's and Co of course of course I've been dreaming of going to that bookshop for ages and for those who don't know it's a very famous bookstore that's been it's been standing for years and centuries and many, many famous writers actually used it as a uh, sort of sort of a meeting point where they would meet up, write the stories, share with other people. And there's plenty of um, old manuscripts and uh, new stuff as well. And it's an international bookstore. So that's why I feel like um, we might be able to snatch something. It's a symbol of Paris, a symbol of literature, and I feel like we just we just have to do it. We just have to do it. <laughs> um, also, I bring a book along with me. At the moment, I'm reading... Uh, don't have it here with me, but I'll show you later. I'm reading um, uh, One Dark Window and Twisted Crowns, which is the Shepherd's Skins duology, uh, which actually is insane. It's really good. I read the first one in... Uh, probably like less than three days and it just hooked me so now I'm reading the second one because I want to try to ace my uh, Goodreads goal which again I got two books left might be able to do it might be able to do it so we'll just stop in some cute bakery um we'll get some dinner tonight and have a walk around have a, have a little bit of shopping uh yeah I just We'll just go and enjoy ourselves and hopefully you can enjoy this little tour with me as well. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Of course, it's the first time that I'm trying to take a video in public and it feels really, really awkward. Anyway, I just went to Shakespeare and Son Company and it is fantastic. It's so beautiful inside and it's the classic old style bookshop. The thing is, it's very international. So I feel like I was basically water walking into a Waterson's catalogue, if that makes sense. Uh, but I got a tote bag. I'll just I'll add a little video in it because I've I've been wanting one of these tote bags for ages. And to be fair, they actually look really nice and they're such a good material. Uh, but the area is beautiful. We're in the Calculaton. Uh, we're just going to have a little walk down the um, 
just down the river and then we'll keep going down this area right there um where we're just gonna have a little little walk maybe grab a snack going to a boulangerie from <laughs> I feel like a, such an idiot there's another bookshop that I want to go to it's called the Abbey workshop and it's basically a, an international bookshop but it's mixed with some French literature as well which is what I want to do I want to try to get a French book to try to get back into the, uh, the language a little bit more I used to speak it quite well and now I've sort of forgotten some of it mm, this is the area It's really, really pretty, and this is my tote bag. So we're feeling happy, we're feeling pumped, we're feeling ready to walk for another couple of kilometers before making a little stop, a little food stop. But yeah, Paris is looking amazing. I'm so happy that I'm here. I'm so happy and just wandering without any sort of pressure. I'm just walking, it's fantastic. <laughs> I'll show you around a bit more. I'm about to get to dinner, which is very exciting because it's gonna be just me, but I, there's a, a very cute brasserie just under the hotel, so I'll just get there and get something to eat. But I'll take you around, I'll show you what I get and see if it's not going to be too awkward by myself, but I'm actually kind of excited because I'm hungry. Um, I'm also very sick, so that's why I, I, well, I came back to the hotel a bit earlier, so it was around 4 p.m. I guess, because uh, I'm quite sick, so I'd rather just, and I actually had an addition to send over to my agent with, which doesn't really happen that often, but you know, and that's why I thought, mm, I won't bring anything with me for the next, the only two days that I'm spending away from home. And of course that happens today. Well, anyway, thank God that it came through and um, it's actually a very good project. So hopefully that'll go through, but you know, fingers crossed. Um, and apart from that, well, I just rested a bit and I wanted to show you a couple of things that I got from the beautiful shop that I showed you before, which is basically a place where they make their perfumes and oils and all these body care products uh, like they used to do in the old times. So just with essential oils and things that are just made in house and everything is so well curated everything is personalized um, you can basically customize every single product and it's just the smell and the way you were treated in the shop is just absolutely out of this world and i'm so gutted i don't have that in england i know some of those products are actually sold in selfridges but it's just a couple of the perfumes and nothing else and still it's selfridges there's really nothing like going into the boutique um so i got first of all this um that i saw actually online a couple of times and it's this little pouch which contains a lip balm that they make basically in store by hand like this um which is customizable um they basically ask you to choose what kind of case you want and what the color of the leather in it could be and what letters these are my initials so that's why i went for them and then inside you have a mirror at the top like that and a lip balm here which is actually really good it's non-centered and it's um made basically only with butter and oils and they basically make them with 100% um, organic products uh, which is it's fantastic and I was thinking that maybe once it will 
run out i can just you know just fill it up with something else even if it's not the same one and uh yeah uh but i'll be i'll be able to and i think it's just something so dainty and cute to put in your in your bag and always carry with you so yeah this is my first um thing and then i also got something else that hopefully this video won't spoil because i got another one for my boyfriend as well as part of his christmas present uh, <laughs> but it's a body oil um that's basically made out of one of their fra fragrances so it's not it's not a normal body oil because it's a perfume body oil so it's it's somewhere in between the normal body oils and perfumes uh which is what led me to this so it basically acts like a perfume but it's not as strong as one but it, it lingers on your skin for such a long time it's still it literally still on my hands after all this time and it comes in this beautiful box where you can see the name and everything on it it's all handwritten there was this lady um that was handwriting everything in front of us and i was just mesmerized and it comes in this absolutely gorgeous bottle which is this one i mean look at this there's like painting and everything with the description of the product and this is like pure metal it's so heavy and there's so much product in it this is uh the tuberose one so it's something um made out of tuberose amber and white flowers if i'm not mistaken i can't really um i can't really find it at the moment uh but yeah so i got one for my boyfriend as well with something a different scent of course um something a bit more masculine if that makes sense i mean not really that we need that but yeah, this one is very, very sweet. Like I, I really enjoy sweet scents. Um, and I cannot wait to actually go in the shower tonight and use it. <laughs> so I'll go to dinner now. I'll take you around. And then after dinner, we'll keep on reading. Um, and also, I haven't updated the channel. I will do it very, very soon. But I started knitting. And I, I'm in this like deep knitting hole and I cannot stop looking for more things to knit and more yarn. And this is what I have at the moment. So I'm trying to make a scarf. It's like a, it's a Sophie scarf, it's called. Like it's one of those that go down in, like this in a like diamond shape. And it's supposed to go all around your neck with like a little tie at the front. Uh, and then I have another yarn that I'm working on, which is this one doesn't really look like i feel like it's a bit darker in pencil but i want to make the same thing but shorter so i have like a just a little tiny ribbon around your neck um and i love it i absolutely love knitting it takes a lot of time and it really challenges my focus but it's really relaxing <laughs> So last night's idea of vlogging before going to bed was actually aborted because I got so, so incredibly sick. My flu got so bad and I really needed to get some sleep. And I'm very sorry for the shaky camera, but um, I'm literally vlogging, like walking up the steps on Montmartre. Sounds very romantic. Um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous day. I took some videos out, but I feel like today I'm just going to have a little walk around this area and probably get some food and now we're heading back to the louvre for the last and only museum visit actually um which is going to be very interesting because i haven't been there in ages and it's always been one of my favorite museums so yeah very exciting unfortunately we're back tonight which is not really something i'm looking forward to to be fair i was really enjoying my time away from um, routine and stuff uh, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. This 
is a little street full of street artists and it's absolutely fantastic. Look at this gorgeous. Oh. This is probably the best place I've been in Paris. It's a little square that's been known for ages apparently with the street artists and just uh, musicians and it's like uh it just reminds a lot of the bohem sort of lifestyle and i feel like i'm being just like a such a very basic paris girl but oh my goodness this town i just i did remember it was this beautiful and um, i'm just really glad that i'm here today i just feel it's one of those days that i feel like huh you were meant to be here and it feels good. <laughs> So we made it into the museums, I'm just whispering a little bit because I don't want people to be like annoyed by me <laughs> for a minute. But um, I'm really, really excited. I haven't been here in ages. And there are some really, really beautiful work of arts. I probably one day I'll have to talk about my passion for arts and, you know, just alongside literature, which again, I feel like it's a big part of me. Um, but I'll, I'll take you around, I'll try to take some videos. And yeah, it's looking great. Guess who lost the last footage that I had on my phone? It's me. Yes. <laughs> so I, I recorded one last update from the trip in uh, Paris. And unfortunately, I accidentally deleted it and I can't find it anymore. But I'm home. So after the Louvre, I took Eurostar and we, we both went back home. I enjoy being back at home, but... I will definitely miss it. It's been great. It's been great being there with my partner, but also having some time for myself as well. And now I just have to get ready for Christmas in my family, all the festivities and all the holidays, which are low key scary, but I'm very excited to see everyone. Yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next week with another video. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel again. Feel free to leave a comment, leave a like, and thank you very much for being here. I love you so much. Bye.